Welcome to Mike Nice Talk of the Talk. Yes, I'm your host, Mike Nice, the nicest kid around. You know, one of the biggest respectable achievement awards you could get is the Nobel Prize. And today, I didn't have to look too far. Right here in Connecticut, we have Thomas Stites from New ha Yale New Haven uh, University. I had to finish that, Yale University, who, which, uh, before I go on, my sister was so excited because she graduated in 1999. And, when you accomplished and you received this award, she told me, well, see if you could get, you know, Thomas on. And I said, I, I doubt it. He's like the president right now. But um, when and, and where were you when you got the call about your your great accomplishment? And how did you feel? Uh, well, it was uh, 525 in the morning. Uh, uh, I was in bed, of course. Yes. Uh, and the phone rang. And uh, my wife answered it. And uh, she turned over and said, well, it's for you. And uh, it was the Swedish Nobel Committee that had called. Yeah. And how do you even know the process? Because I don't even know the process. And I don't think it, a lot of my viewers know the process. And how, how do you win? Well, there, there's a committee okay. uh, uh, of five, I think it's five uh, scientists in chemistry. There, there are several Nobel Prizes, chemistry, physiology, or medicine, okay. physics, uh, literature. Um, the Peace Prize is awarded in, in Norway. Uh, but the, the committee for chemistry uh, gets together and they, they discuss this. And they have meetings over the years. Uh, and you go along to these meetings and they listen to you. Uh, it's, I, I said it's kind of like an oral exam. Uh, right? they, yeah, yeah. they get to give you a lecture. They say, well, how did I do, do that? Did they yeah. like what I said? I don't know. But uh, And they also um, have others uh, help them to, to decide what should get the prize and who would be the right winners. Uh, I Sodium chloride is one everybody's familiar yes. with. Uh, but uh, big molecules form crystals, too. And now it's, it's obviously that your passion about uh, molecule science. So what what is the thing that makes you so excited and uh, in, in, in working uh, in your field? <clears throat> well, it's really trying to understand how how biology works on on a, on a chemical level. You know, how do molecules you know make things? For example, yeah, yeah. how does protein get made? Uh, how are various kinds of uh, molecules synthesized? This is what enzymes make things. Everything in your body is made by a series of chemical reactions that are made to happen because of these molecules. And, and so how does a protein, or how in this case does the RNA, uh, how does it do that? Mm -hmm. And in order to understand that, you need to know where every atom is at each stage in the process. So you can sort of make a movie of the chemical process of this machine uh, making, making something. Did you ever get wildest dreams that you ever ever uh, have, be done, have an honor to have the Nobel uh, Prize in chemistry? No, 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 it's not. Now to uh, a meeting in uh, China and, and Shanghai some years ago mm -hmm. with my PhD mentor, Bill Lipscomb, who won the Nobel Prize in 1976. He gave a very nice lecture, and, and the students there mostly asked, well, how do I go out and win a Nobel Prize? Yeah. And he said, and I completely agree with him, that's not your goal. Your goal is to actually understand something, to discover something, to do something that excites you in terms of trying to understand how the world works. And if you're lucky, you might win the Nobel Prize, but that's not the goal. You and your family adjusted uh, ever since ever since that <laughs> 520 a.m. <laughs> call, or are you still adjusted. doing a little bit of Well, it's still a little up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now and now and now the day the day of the the Nobel Prize, but the feelings you had, your emotions, how, how did you feel? Well, the, it's actually a, a number of days. Uh, I was in Sweden from about the sixth or seventh of December, and then the prize was awarded on the on the tenth. Uh, each day there were there were interviews and uh, conversations. We had to give a lecture. Uh, and it was all very exciting. Um, I'm exciting to shake hands with the king and get get the prize. Now, did did they invite uh, any of you guys or all three of you guys to the to the White House? We were invited to the White How House. Was, was that the first time? How was that? 
Uh, well, it was it was nice. It was it was great to meet Obama. Mm -hmm. He's a very um, uh, charismatic person, I have to say. Very okay. Charismatic. Now, right of your of your work, uh, your your career. Where do you see yourself? Are you gonna see yourself in another five years? Do you see yourself still working on science or doing something else? Well. Um, Yes, I w I'm going to continue working on science. I hope it's not going to change uh, uh, very much in the immediate future. We have lots of things uh, to do. You know, as Yogi Berra uh, said, nothing's harder to predict than the future. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so who knows? But uh, I see uh, well, there, there are a lot of additional problems that we've been pursuing, uh, science problems, and I'm just going to carry on. Now, and